welcome back to Retirement Today. Your co-host here, Jonathan Berglund, with me in the studio, Michael Reese, Certified Financial Planning Professional for over 25 years. And we're helping all of those out there in Radio Land get to and through retirement. But of course, come see us, right? We'll help you in person, too. We love doing that. That's why we're here. That's right. And, and by the way, in the quick break there, Jonathan was making fun of me with my voice. And <laughs> y'all might Only be hearing, slightly. Yeah, you might be hearing my voice getting a little raspy. And, and I have this cold. Uh, by the way... I've tested for COVID twice now, yeah. and both times I've come up as negative Nancy here uh, in the last couple days. So it's not COVID, it's just, just a cold. Imagine this. Sometimes you can get sick today, and it's not COVID. <laughs> All righty, so uh, I promised uh, we would start talking about solutions. Um, as we look out into the economy right now, uh, we, we are seeing some definite... Uh, you know, a lot of red flags out there that would indicate that we have a pretty significant recession coming. Now, is that guaranteed? No. Of course it's not guaranteed. We'll see. But, oh my goodness. Um, it, you know what would not surprise me is six months from now, we're in the middle of a, you know, a difficult recession. The market's down even further. And all of us are looking back saying, oh my gosh, look how clear the signals were. <laughs> yes. Right? You know, you've, got, course, yes. you've got the head of Amazon saying, uh, we don't like where things are going here. You've got a lot of other corporate executives saying that. You've got uh, the, oh my goodness, the, um, the uh, uh, what do you call it, the treasury bond rates, the yield curve. Yep. Yep. The yield sure. curve is significantly inverted, inverted right. yeah. which means that short-term rates are higher than long-term rates, which is just goofy. That's messed up. Um, now, here's the thing. Every time that the yield curve is inverted does not lead to a recession. But every single recession we've had, there's been an inverted yield curve before it. So, so. <laughs> anyway, so this uh, we, we've got all kinds of red flags here. Interest rates rising, housing market crashing, yeah. blah, 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 right? So let's talk about some action steps or some opportunities that are available out there. Right. How can you be proactive? Yeah, that might help you. And um, here, I'm, the first one I'm going to talk about is going to be a very oldie but a goodie. Oldie but goodies, okay. Oldie but a goodie. So I remember back when my parents retired, my mother. And I, I think I should call her my sainted mother because she's such a wonderful person, of course. Uh, all of our mothers are wonderful, I, I hope. Anyway, my mother, uh, she was one of these people, Jonathan, where she had about $50,000 and she broke it into five $10,000 chunks and she would play the, uh, the CD game at the bank. Ah, okay. Do you okay. know what the CD game is? Just just playing the rates, right? Yeah, she would have she would ladder them. Yep. Where she started out with a one year, two year, three year, four year, five year CD. And she got the best rates at different banks. Right. When the one year um, expired, you know the two year had one year left, the three year had two years left, and so on. So she'd go and buy another five year CD at, the best at rate. whichever bank gave the best <laughs> rate. I gotta do the shopping. And yes. This this my mother. She I had so much fun with this. She enjoyed it so much. She would. Go to the bank uh, when the CD matured and say, okay, if I leave this money here, what's your rate for a new five-year CD? And they'd, she'd get the rate, and then she would, like, in those days, I think she still would look at the newspaper to get all the different rates. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, in those days, you could open up your local newspaper, and the banks would actually advertise um, in the newspaper. Wow. Do you That's, even know what a newspaper is? I know what a newspaper is, but I can't say I've ever checked one for a CD rate. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was the, well, back in the early 2000s, this was still going on. In any event, um, so that's what my mom would do. Well, around 2008, what happened? The market crashed, yep. and the Fed just two, dropped two interest to four, rates to yeah. about zero, yeah. and that was the end of my mother's game. Yeah. Because from that point on, you couldn't get anything for CD rates. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said oldie but a goodie. If you go to a bank today, you can start to get a couple percent. Yeah, it's for it's, a CD. Uh, starting to turn around. Worth looking at, yeah. But that's not what you want to do. What you really want to do is if you would like to say to yourself, gosh, I would love to get some guaranteed return over the next few years. 
Let's say you're sitting there and you're saying, you know what, I agree with you, Mike and Jonathan. I agree that we're looking at a recession. I agree that the market's going to have some tough times, mm -hmm. or at least I believe it will. Let's say that's you. Now, in our office, for our managed accounts, like our clients, we have a lot of money in cash right now. Yeah. We have a lot of money in short-term uh, treasury, like real short-term treasuries, um, because we believe that you've got to protect people from markets getting, you know, tanking. Yeah, flat. Yeah. And by the way, if your advisor has not moved a bunch of your money into cash, uh, what the heck are they doing? Why? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what kind of advisor do you have? Doesn't sound like you have much of an advisor. It sounds like you have more of someone that just wants to sell you a portfolio and then just kind of, you know, say, hey, just hang on, long-term investor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're not doing their job. That's what's really happening. But anyway, that's not what I'm going to talk about here. <laughs> Funny show. I know. I, I just get so distracted. It was I'm a good one, though. I mean, squirrel. Valuable. Yeah. All right. So, um, but here's what you can do. Uh, let's say, and I've had this uh, come up recently, uh, what are called MIGAs. Mm -hmm. MIGA rates are starting to rise and rise significantly. Now, what the heck is a MIGA? What is a MIGA? What is a MIGA? Yeah. It's a M-Y-G-A. I know you know what that stands That's for, right. Jonathan. What is That's it? Right. Multi-year guaranteed annuity. Multi-year guaranteed annuity. You know what a MIGA really is? It's basically a CD that instead of holding it at the bank, you're holding it at an insurance company. Mm -hmm. That's really all it is. I don't know why they don't just call them CD held at an insurance company. <laughs> right? That's even because, longer than MIGA, I think. <laughs> yeah, but at least we'd all know what it means, what That's it is. So you can go to insurance companies today and you can say, hey, if I deposit $100,000, for the next three years, mm -hmm. what guaranteed rate will you pay me every single year for the next three years? And right now that number is about 4.65%. Now imagine that. Let's say you're sitting on money like, man, I'm worried about a recession. I would love to put a chunk of my money, some percentage, into something that's guaranteed for the next three years. Right. Now it could be IRA money. It could be Roth IRA money. It could be after-tax money. They don't care. Yep. But you put that money in, guaranteed 4.65%. Now, by the way, rates certainly vary. We're in an environment right now where rates are varying almost daily. Mm -hmm. So um, the rate might be slightly higher, slightly lower when you call. Um, but if you're sitting there, you're like, man, I, I would love to get 4.65 guaranteed by the insurance company for the next Three years. It's kind of a no-brainer. It sounds, it sounds good. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. Now, you do have to have, I think, I don't know what the amount is. You probably have to have like twenty dollars or $30,000 yeah, or something. Yeah, there's some minimums there. Right. right. Um, there's probably a minimum. So if you say, hey, I've got $1,000, I want, you know, I want this rate, probably not going to get it. But guess what? You could still get a, probably a pretty decent rate over four, mm -hmm. right? So it's not like you need hundreds of thousands of dollars here, but I will tell you the best rates are reserved for um, deposits over a hundred thousand. Um, but guess what? If you have 10,000, you still can probably get 4.35 for three years or something like that. Yeah. So you'd still get a pretty nice rate. Well, Mike, I really want to get a 5% rate. How long do, you know, what do I have to yeah. do then? Can like, we do that? Yeah. can we do that right now today for four years? If you go to an insurance company to get one of these MIGAs, four-year rate, 5% a year. Now, I do think that one requires 100000 Yeah. And then if you have five-year, if you're willing to say, hey, what can I do for five years? Now we're over 5% in a lot of cases. So guaranteed rates in insurance companies, short-term, three-year, four-year, five-year, are looking very attractive right now. Definitely up, yes. Yeah, and so one of the things I want you to do, if you're out there saying to yourself, you know what, that's for me. I need that. I want that. I want to find out more information on that. Then here's what I want you to do. I want you to call the show right now. Give us a call right now. When you, it's after hours. When you reach the reach our uh, operators, what you do is you say, "Hey, I want to talk to Jonathan about these guaranteed rates," and they'll set up a time where you can do so. So, Jonathan, what, what's the number they need to call? Reach out to us at five one two eight eight six five eight five zero. Again, the number is five one two eight eight six five eight. 
It is after hours, like Mike said, so just leave your name, number, a good time to get together, and we'll have a conversation. See if it's right for you and get you down the right path. Yeah, wouldn't it be awesome to lock in some guaranteed rates, especially when we're expecting recession to come? Mm -hmm. That's a smart play. That's a smart move. All right, don't go anywhere. Uh, when we come back, I've got another solution that's really cool today for people who are getting ready to retire. Oh so if you're in that uh, position, pay attention. We'll be right back.